Welcome back. More than a few hundred people gathered at the Jordan Park on Salt Lake City's west side to celebrate the Philippine Independence Day today. Fox 13's Diego Romo spoke with attendees about why it was such a special day. A day filled with music, laughter, and most importantly, Filipino food. Very excited uh, to be among my people and, you know, to celebrate the uh, Independence Day. The Yum Yum food truck, which was vandalized with racist, anti-Asian hate messages just one week ago, unveiled its new look at the event. Utah jazz star and Filipino-American Jordan Clarkson donated the new wrap for the truck and also paid for the detailing and restoration. Got on the phone and they got on the phone and we all just made the contact real quick and made it happen. So The community turned out in droves to support the food truck. Hour and a half waits at times with hundreds of people lined up to taste their food. Seeing all these people come here to support us is amazing. Throughout the pandemic, Asian Americans and Asian owned businesses have experienced a wave of racist attacks and bouts of vandalism. Attendees say events like the Philippine Independence Day celebration can help to bridge the divide. It is so sad um, that, you know, but we hope, we're hoping that, you know, um, people will accept one another because, you know, we coexist. I'm here to support the Philippine community and make sure that um, they know that there are people here that support the cause and that we love the people. Organizers say they were not expecting such a big turnout. Celebrating my heritage means a lot to me. Um, being half Filipino is really amazing. I get to show both sides being half white and half Filipino. Being here with my friends means a lot because they're supporting me as well. Love is greater than hate, so and we got to represent. In Salt Lake City, Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah.